I'm a new generation uh, veteran, the Iraqi Freedom War. I've been in the service uh, 26 and a half years. I wasn't always a colonel. I started like Lupe did, down the ranks. Uh, I did have a mentor door. My mentor was my dad. Uh, I wish uh, he was would be with me today, but he lives in Florida. He's also a military retired. He did 20 years active duty. Went to Vietnam, went to uh, Korea, and two years to Berlin. And all those times he was off, we couldn't go with him, which made me the man in charge of the house. And uh, I took that pride because uh, I was the only man, I had two sisters and a mom, and uh, she delegated that to me. So when, when you get delegated that, take off, get, 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 get charged and take over. And I remember my dad when, uh, and I'm just gonna jump, because I only got 10 minutes. Uh, I'm originally from Puerto Rico, even though I wasn't born there. <laughs> I was raised in 11 different states in three different countries. Uh, I was really born in Panama Canal Zone. Sorry about that. But my dad worked in the uh, Canal Zone when he was a uh, infantry uh, person out there. I did go to Panama last year with Joe and Rosa Ortega for the second time in my life. And I went where my dad worked, to the uh, Pacific side of the house. And it, I was just so uh, emotional. I said, well, this is the place I was born, and this is the place where my dad used to work. But going back, uh, my dad uh, was a mentor because he was in the military also. And when you have a mentor, you look out for other people. When you become a mentor to someone, they look up to you. If you don't have a dad, you have to adopt a dad. If you don't have a mother, you have to adopt a mother, or a big brother or a big sister. But I had my dad that would go out to the field, come back, wear his uniform, I would clean his boots. I did all of that, and one day I, I would sing like Lupe was saying, you know, I wanna be like my dad. I wanna be in the military just like my dad. And I wanted that excitement, the adventure. I wanted the exploration and I was even willing, let's go to war if we have to go to. Let's go to war. You have this sense of invincibility that really doesn't exist. <laughs> the only invincibility is God. He's invincible, but we're human beings and we can be defeated. But when you're growing up and you're seeing your dad, you, uh, you kind of say, yeah, I can do that. Or I can even do, be better than him. I can be an officer and go to college and do this and that. But I really wanted to be a paratrooper, airborne ranger, jump out of airplanes. I thought, I thought that would be exciting. Until my dad had a talk with me, and he said, son, you don't really want to be a paratrooper, and I'm going to tell you why. Your knees get shot up. When you become 40, 50 years old, you can hardly walk with all the jumps that you've made. You really don't want that. And you really don't want to go as a grunt either. A grunt is when you go from the beginning ranks. You want to go in as an officer, so don't do that, son. Follow my advice. And I went, you know what? This old man is here for something, and I'm going to follow his advice. So I graduated from the University of Puerto Rico, did ROTC, and my first assignment was in uh, Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Oh, you, yes. <laughs> uh, there I was at, at there, uh, almost eight months, it was an intensive training, very hard, we had West Pointers, we had officers from Great Britain, uh, India, some Saudis, and uh, it was very challenging, but I wanted to be the one of the best out there, and in order to be the best, you gotta put a little sacrifice. You just can't be the best automatically, you gotta put some effort, and the effort meant studying till one o'clock in the morning, going over the tests, practicing, having your room full with charts. Didn't look like much of a, a dorm, it just looked like walls full with charts, history, tactics, maps, you name it. 
no radio, no television, just work. And when you're focused, and I didn't even know I was focused, I was just ran into someone that was focused that was helping. And that was my dad and then a roommate that was very focused. But we were very few Hispanics. 